the skid analysis is used to determine the speed of a vehicle from the skid tracks left behind. You need real-world measurements of skids to begin, which you would add with the coordinate data table command on the Home tab, then draw skid lines over them. Analysis looks at each skid track and road conditions and runs them through an internal speed formula to calculate the speed of the vehicle. Click the Skid Analysis command. In the Skid Analysis window, name the skid set for easy identification. Enter the wheelbase of the vehicle and select skid marks to enter into the database. Distance is the length of the skid. Drag refers to the surface conditions. A list of common drag factor presets is available by clicking in the column. Click Change All to apply the selected values to all skid marks in the table. Enter a known value or select a preset value. Note, values are approximate. Click OK. Click in the Braking column to open the Friction dialog box. Enter 100%, all brakes applied, or select front or rear wheel drive and which tire the skid belongs to. Click OK. With these factors, speed is automatically calculated and minimum, maximum velocity is displayed on the right. You can also enter a grade. Use the slope command to calculate it and subtract the wheelbase, which will reduce the speed. From there, you can either click Close to exit the window or click Report to generate a printable report of your findings. Here, we have skid tracks that cross two different surface conditions. Create a new skid profile, name it, then select the tracks from one surface. Set the proper values and repeat with the second set. Adjust the values to the conditions. Add a wheelbase or subtract the wheelbase, then print a report or close the window. Skid analysis is a valuable tool for investigation. You are now able to create a skid set from measured skid marks, set wheelbase, drag and braking factors for analysis calculations, and generate a skid analysis report.